Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So for those of you who follow me on social media, you will know that I asked you guys to send in questions and I would answer them for Q&A and you did that, so thank you. I wanted to make a community post about it on YouTube, but it turns out you can't make a community post until you've had 1,000 subscribers, which I don't have yet. So, which reminds me, if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it if you'd like and give it a thumbs up. So let's just go ahead and go right in. Would you ever move move out of the state you're in? Which state would you move to and why? Um, I would temporarily. Uh, I was actually just, just talking about this with a friend a little bit ago that um, if I really want to be serious about publishing my book, like I probably can't stay here. Like I need to go to a city. So I mean, I guess probably New York or California or something, but I I don't, I don't want to settle down there or anything, so I would move back here. Do you speak any other language flu languages fluently? Do you wish to learn s more? Um, no, I don't. Um, I would like to, but if I'm being honest, I probably won't. But I'd like to learn Spanish, but I only speak English. Would you rather change the color of your hair or the color of your eyes? Um, I... <sighs> Hard. I actually like both my hair color and my eye color. Um, it's two things on my body that I actually don't constantly criticize. But if I had to pick, I think I would I'd rather change my hair color. I quite like my eye color. Do you have any anxiety coping mechanisms that you catch yourself doing? Um, yeah, actually. I A lot of people don't know this about me, but I have a minor form of Tourette's syndrome that pops up when I'm particularly stressed or anxious and it's just kind of blinking like this. Sometimes it's much, much more subtle. It could just be ever so slightly. Um, sometimes it's much, much more obvious, like this. And I literally like, can't open my eyes till it feels right. And I know it's weird and it looks weird, but that's just the reality. Sometimes it's even worse than that. So it's not always blinking. It involves my, it can involve like my neck. And it looks, it reminds me of like Harry Potter. Like when he's like being possessed by like Voldemort all the time. Like it kind of, it's like, it's weird. Like as a kid, I used to like put my... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well anyway, that's embarrassing. As a kid, I used to put my my shirt sleeve over my shoulder because it just felt uneven. I know that sounds weird, but that's just kind of what Tourette's does to your brain. It just makes things feel uneven, and it just, even though they're not, and I can't explain it. I'm sure if you have Tourette's, you probably understand. Um, again, it's just a minor form of Tourette's, and I don't constantly have it. It just it pops up, especially in, in stressful times of my life. It's not necessarily a healthy, a healthy coping mechanism, but it's the truthful one. Do you have any guilty pleasures? That's not even intended to be dirty, necessarily. <laughs> I mean, not te not technically, because I feel like a guilty pleasure is something that you're guilty about, and there's nothing that I like that I'm ashamed of liking. Uh, there's things that I like that other people might think I should be ashamed of liking, but I'm not, so... If you could be any animal, which animal would you be? Is that your favorite animal? Probably a bird, just because, like, it just reminds me of, like, being free and just being able to fly. That's not my favorite animal, though. I feel obligated to say that my favorite animal is a cat, because, I mean, I have a cat, so that's, that's gonna be my answer. <laughs> if you could be anywhere on the globe, where would you want to visit? Where would you want to live? I really want to visit Amsterdam. The Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. I also would like to visit Paris someday, probably. There's a lot of places, honestly. I haven't even been to New York and California, like in my own country. But where I want to live, honestly, Indiana. I want to live here. I mean, it's home. Did, do you have any family traditions? Do you still continue them? The only one I ever really think of when people ask me that is every Christmas Eve we get pajamas. We'd, we'd get pajamas and then wear them the next day for, for the whole day for Christmas. It's not always on Christmas Eve like it used to be but we do still do it and it's it's one of my favorite things that I like we do that I like that my family still does favorite movie movie you want to see favorite actor actress um my favorite movie is Harry Potter if you're gonna make me pick it's gonna be you know Deathly Hollows part two that's just where everything comes together and everything makes sense so definitely Harry Potter um the movie I want to see is Fantastic Beasts which comes out next month which I will definitely be seeing The Secrets of Dumbledore favorite actor and actress honestly I don't really like know enough of act like I don't like look into actors enough I don't follow them enough I think I follow more actors than actresses but I guess Denzel Washington is probably probably my favorite actor 
as an actor and also just as a person. Um, actress, the only thing I can think of, like, Scarlett Johansson, like, she's a really good actress, but, like, I mean, I've really only ever seen her in, like, Avengers and, like, Marriage Story, and she's really good, but I feel like, am I really, is it really, am I really qualified to say it's my favorite actress if I haven't really seen her in a whole lot? I don't know. Does anybody else sing in your family? How long have you been singing? Uh, no. <laughs> it's just me. I don't really know where I got my love of singing from, but no, it, it is just me. And I've been singing for as long as I can remember, genuinely. I haven't been good at it for as long as I can remember, but I've been, I've been doing it since as long as I can remember. When will you upload another song cover? <laughs> soon. Very soon. How do you want to spend your next birthday? Um, probably with friends again. I don't need a birthday party. Obviously, I'd still like one, but like, I just wanted a 22 birthday party this year because ever since Taylor Swift came out with her 22 song in 2013, I was like, I'm having that birthday party. And I did. Taylor Swift 22 themed birthday party and it was great. Um, but I'm just gonna be 23 next year, which is fine, but go out to the bars again, probably. If not, just stay home and hang out with friends. That sounds fun. Honestly, just anything that involves being young and dumb, like, sounds good to me. Favorite food? Least favorite food? Um, favorite food? Probably anything Thai. Or, like, especially noodles. I just really like the spices and, not necessarily spicy, but just spices. I mean, any... Anything that just attacks my taste buds is delicious. Um, least favorite food? Really, seafood. Did you have any pets growing up? Yeah, yeah. The the pet that I had for most of my childhood was a beagle named Maverick. And um, we named it Maverick because I was adopted and I was in foster care at the time. And my last name before it was Flick was Macaulay. And then their last name was Flick. And then my half-sister's last name was Rodman. And my brother, when we were deciding what to name our dog... My brother said, why don't we name it Maverick? Because the M can be for Macaulay, the R can be for Rod Rodman, and the It can be for Flick. And I just, I remember that memory so fondly because it was just one of, one of the times growing up where I felt like someone was genuinely trying to actively make me feel included. So that's cute. He was a beagle and he was adorable. Bucket list places and activities. Amsterdam, Anne Frank, uh, Harry Potter World, and Florida for sure. Uh... I always used to say skydiving, but if I'm being realistic, like, I don't know if I'll be able to. <laughs> There's this comedian I like named Andrew Scholes, and he has a bit that says, like, the best thing that can happen with skydiving is you live. And I'm just like, oh my god, that's fucking true. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Like, I want to, but realistically, I don't know. What's one thing you wish you could do or say today? Right? Writing has been... I mean, I guess I could. It's It's been a little hard. Honestly, having a, a bigger platform would be nice. I'd be able to reach more people. What's your least favorite Taylor Swift song or album? Oh, don't make me do this. Okay, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, I love this album. But this just tells you how much, like, I love all her albums. And how even if, even, even how much I love this album, I still want it. This would be the one I would get rid of. And it would be her Reputation album. I love Reputation and I listen to it a lot. I do. I love it. But, uh, out of all the sounds and all her, like, music genres and what she's delved into, that would be my least favorite. Even though I still love it, it is just the one I would get rid of if I had to. But I, I do still love that album. Um, when it comes to song, I used to love this song and this is beautifully written. It's beautiful musically, but... Um, the song Ivy has officially been ruined for me. Have you ever been to a Taylor Swift concert? No! No, I haven't. And I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. So badly. And I will. That's definitely on my bucket list as well. What's one thing you wish you'd experience as a child? Genuine love and affection. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is true, so. What's your least favorite music, music genre? This one's really hard because I really do like a lot of different genres. You know, people will say like, I, I'm into every genre and then people will be like, except country, right? And it's just like, no, like I just, I didn't fucking say that. Like I like country too. Like why is that always a reaction? I guess opera, just cause like I don't, I don't ever look up opera. So I mean, there's nothing against opera, but if I had to pick something, I, I guess I would say that. How many questions told did you get for your Q and A? A lot. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Michaela. Shout out. What's your favorite fruit? vegetable um fruit uh pineapple because it's delicious and you know other reasons and uh <laughs> vegetables probably green beans 
Is green beans, are green beans vegetables? That's my answer. What do you do when you can't sleep? I take melatonin. <laughs> what are some factors that make you feel most confident? Writing. Writing and singing. Because those are two things that I'm good at and that I wasn't just born good at. Like, I worked to be good at them. What would you do with a million dollars? I'd probably save it until I finish my book and be able to pay for advertising and, and publishing for it, if I'm honest. Um, probably use it to pay bills and hopefully give some to charity. A million dollars actually isn't as much as it used to be, but it's still a lot, especially if you're poor, so. What's one thing you get asked a lot by friends or peers? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, but besides that, I would say they tend to ask me a lot about just what I think about things. You know, events, current events, or just opinions. What's your ideal wedding look like? <sighs> okay, so my ideal wedding is in a flower field, just a land with a bunch of flowers, definitely in the spring or summertime, with like a, just like an aisle for like, not made out of mud, but just like some kind of aisle that we could walk down that looks very natural looking, like cobblestones or something. Also, I always wanted to be Harry Potter themed. Obviously that would have to depend on who my husband would be and like what he would think, but, uh, I definitely, I definitely want a Harry Potter wedding. <laughs> But also, like, allergies when it comes to the flowers. Like, a lot of people have allergies, so, I mean, I don't know how realistic that is, but that's always been, if I were to imagine it, it was it, it was always like that. What is one thing you love about yourself? My empathy. My empathy. If you could change one person in your past, who would it be? I don't think I would change anyone in my past. If you could change one thing about the past, who would it be? Uh, or what would it be? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would change anything ab about it either. I don't like regret. What's your favorite video you've done? I really like my reading for my journal videos, but I don't really know which one I would pick. I think I really like my Why I Stopped Talking About Politics videos, because it really shows my growth. And I just think it's really insightful and important. In what ways do you think you've improved since your first video? Well, I think I've improved just on just the simple practicalities of things and editing and things like that. I think I don't repeat myself as much as I used to. Still could work on that a little bit. Just as a person, I've improved on on probably just not letting things get to me so much. Like it just in my videos I look back on them sometimes and it's like I was so emotionally invested in my opinions and that's fine. Like everyone is to a to a point, but don't make it your entire fucking identity. And I think I've done a good job of, of letting go of that. Is America the best country? Uh, honestly, my gut reaction when I first saw this was to say, to say, yeah. And it's sort of funny because we actually just, we talked about this in my sociology class recently. Statistically, I mean, in, in many ways, we're not only not the best, but we're close to the worst. And even when we're not the worst, we're still just not the best. Like, poverty and hate crimes and literacy rates and things like that. I mean, when you think about things like hate crimes, like, the reason we have some of the highest hate crimes is because we are the most diverse racial white majority countries. I mean, that's just one of the downsides of having a bunch of different places and pe different kinds of people in one place. China isn't going to have as many hate crimes because a lot of people there are very, like, the same race. Like, they can have crimes, but it's not going to be hate crimes when you're not going to attack someone for being the same group that you are. It's still unfortunate that we have them, of course, but I'm just saying, staying one statistic and then not even looking into it, it matters to look into the whys behind it. It may not seem as... I mean, it's still bad, but it's important to consider other things. When I... Really, just when I look at, like, as they say, like, pe how people vote with their feet, it's not nothing that when people want to go to a country to escape something, they want to come here. You know, I, that's just the reality. And, you know, you could say that they're foolish and they've been lied to or ignorant or something, but I don't think that's true. I think, I, I, I really don't. Like, I think that this is a good country to go to and we're not perfect, but even just, even just looking at like our values, like our freedom, I, I know people make fun of it, but like, it just, I feel like, especially if you live in America and you make fun of freedom, it's like, it's ungrateful at best. Like, everything that's bad that's happened in history has happened because of a lack of freedom. Like, I just, I value freedom a lot. And I think that there's no country in the world that val values freedom as much as America. I'm not saying that we don't always live up to what we're supposed to, but I'm saying just the value itself. 
is very important. Also, just looking at where would I want to live? I can get up and move anywhere I want to, almost anywhere in the world. I could right now. And I choose to stay here because I do love this country. And I think, honestly, I'd rather live here than anywhere. My answer is going to be yeah. Hi, how are you? How's the new rotation around the sun feeling? Love you. Hi, I'm all right. Honestly, I've I've honestly been better. I've been better. But considering things in my life, I'm doing all right. If you don't consider it, I've been better. A lot of things have, I've learned in this new rotation around the sun, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be a blessing in disguise, just as a lot of these things used to be. What was your dream job as a kid, and has it changed? My dream job was always to be a singer. It hasn't changed. Like I still want to, like I still would want to be a singer, and I still love singing. It's still a dream job of mine, but it's not the only one. I also want to be a writer, and I realize that that's actually better for me, and I actually love it just as much. I want to be a writer, so that's my dream job as well. So it hasn't changed, but it's it's no longer the only one. What's been your on repeat song lately? <laughs> Traitor by Olivia Rodrigo. What inspired you to sing as a hobby or potential career? It's changed as time's gone on. It started out with just a love of music and a love of singing. I remember when I was in foster care and I got my first Christmas present present that first Christmas with my family and it was a Taylor Swift CD. It was her debut album. I loved it. I remember even listening to it then and feeling like I really like could feel the lyrics. Like I know they say like what do they say like what happens isn't what you remember. You what you remember becomes what happened or something and that could be true. But I do feel like I do remember even then really feeling in, in the lyrics. Like, I remember, like, there's a song called Tie Together with a Smile, which is a great song to listen to if you're dealing with body image issues, by the way. But I remember even then being like, how can someone tie themselves together with a smile? Like, I didn't, I didn't know what it meant as a six-year-old girl, which is understandable. But just even then, I was asking those questions, like, trying to actually understand the lyrics. And so I've always been obsessed with singing and music and writing, but and finding meaning in, in the lyrics and stuff. But... If I'm honest, singing was something my my family used to treat me terribly for and told me I was never going to succeed and be good at. And so for the longest time, I wanted to just prove them wrong. Just out of pure spite, trying to prove people wrong and prove my family wrong, I wanted to be a singer. I actually didn't realize literally until this year that that was something I was still believing to this day. Don't get me wrong. It's not the only reason. I still very much passionately love singing and music and, and writing and I would love that as a job, but a, a big chunk of it had to do with like, once I get to that mountaintop moment, I've proved everyone wrong and I realized that I don't need to do that anymore. So it's not the most inspiring reason, but that is the honest, one of the honest reasons as to why I wanted to be a singer growing up. But it's also been just at this point, I, I love to write and sing, like I still do it today even just because I just it just it feels like a necessity like that's how I cope I can't not write I can't not sing it's just how I cope with my life so it looks like that's it um so thank you guys for entering these questions since I can't make a compu a community post I'll do another Q&A in the future and then whenever I do that if you guys want to comment below any questions you have for my next Q&A it can literally be about anything whatsoever as deep or as just like what's your favorite color like it doesn't matter it can be anything i'll try to answer it so just comment below and the next time i make one of these videos i'll look to the comments to to find them and answer them so thank you